All right, welcome back. In this module, we're going to build out a user management system. Out of the box, Laravel gives us some great tools to scaffold our basic user authentication. We'll look at those in this course and additionally build upon the ability to manage user profiles from an administrator's perspective, in addition to giving each user the ability to manage their own details. Let's take a look at what our finished product will look like. I'm going to log in here. Okay, so right here is the dashboard we get out of the box with Laravel. Up in the top nav bar, we have a couple of drop down menus one for our own profile and our own profile actions, and one uh, for users, so the administrator's ability to manage users in here. Uh, to manage our own profile, we'll go to account settings, and we see our basic details here. And we can also see other options to help us manage things like our password, email, and name. You'll notice this account has an administrator role. Building out our first user account, which this one is the first user account, will require working with things like Cedars and Laravel, so populating basic data that we need to get our application uh, up and running. You'll also notice here we have basic form elements, uh, which when submitted, the request we make on the back end will verify that we are actually the authorized user or an administrator and therefore grant us permission to change things like uh, our name. Also too, if we go to change our email, you notice that we have to do things like provide the email twice and provide the password. This requires additional request validation that we're going to look at on the back end as well. So if we're an administrator, we want to give permission to basically modify maybe anybody's account or if we're just a user we want to make sure that uh, we're the proper user modifying the email on their actual account and that they have the correct password uh, proving that they are allowed to do so. You'll also notice here that the user can, uh, obviously can't change their own role. Uh, they stay an administrator or they stay uh, a user. And with regards to resetting or changing our password we actually tie into Laravel's functionality to create tokens and send off the reset link. And I'll give you an example of this, okay? So send reset password link, you can see it was sent, okay? And in here, what I'm gonna do is pull up a handy tool provided to us with Laravel that basically tracks all of our requests and give us, gives us pertinent data uh, on that. So if I go down to mail here, you can see just a few seconds ago that an email was sent out saying you're receiving this email because we received a password reset request for this account. This is a very safe way to do it because then it actually goes to their proper uh, email instead of somebody uh, who's gained access to that account, um, you know, being able to change the password uh, in there. Okay. So, and then again, this ties into Laravel's already built-in functionality. Now we have user management here. I'm going to go manage users. Uh, this is functionality that belongs only to administrators of the application and is where we'll do things like create users and manage their accounts. So we're able to create a user in here. On the back end, I'll show you how to create validation for this to make sure that not only is the person and administrator creating this, but that all of the details are correct and confirmed. Uh, you'll, you may have noticed also up to this point how smooth our transitions feel and that once the initial page loads, there's no loading time to access the other pages from this particular dashboard. This is because in this project, we're going to implement Vue.js, which is a great front-end JavaScript library. Also, in building out our reusable components, I'm going to show you how to do things like build out pagination, like you see here. Okay. I will show you how to uh, do things like view their profile details, edit their profile details, as an example, change their user roles if that's necessary uh, in the application. And things like viewing their logs for their profile, uh, being able to do things like change their uh, password as well, or send a reset link like we saw uh, for managing their own profiles. This will go out to their actual email, all said and done. And ultimately to delete their profiles. So deleted user. We might want to put in something in here like a, a verification, um, which we which we'll add when we build this out together. 
On the back end, we're going to look at things like events and listeners so that with every action taken, we can log them and additionally notify users or administrators of our application. By the end of this module, you'll have the tools necessary to provide your client or yourself with proper user management for your application. And, the part, and this part of the application is also extensible, allowing you to take what you have here and customize it for your particular needs. So for example, if you need to do things like um, you know, add additional user roles. I'll show you how to how to add that on the back end and deal with the models um, as as we manage things to provide ourselves with little tools along the way to make development more readable, understandable, um, and and practical. On my professional projects, I implement a similar user management system, and I save myself a lot of time and money by not having to rebuild these things from the ground up each and every time. Uh, typically, the user management systems are satisfactory out of the box. Uh, and then, of course, in a lot of cases, I have to change certain aspects here and there. So in this, you're going to see where you can plug into how you can uh, how you can do all of that stuff. So, all right. I look forward to uh, getting into this module.